Well, who in the world would have thought that Diablo 4 would bring on Whoopi Goldberg as part of the team or some social media thing going on there? To the point that they gave Whoopi the key to hell. Blizzard men's rift with Whoopi Goldberg at Whoopi Goldberg's themed weed event as Diablo 4's Lilith presents Star with the key to hell. That's that's quite the sentence. That's quite the uh, event and quite the uh, extensive thing that we've seen. Either all those things happened or I finally cracked. Well, at least I found uh, someone from PC Gamer that is about on the same level as where I'm at right now, scratching my head. You know, the last little bit here on the channel, things have been a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, uh, but this kind of takes the cake. I think this one takes it. Uh, in a truce that will rank in significance alongside uh, West Palia, v Versailles, and Paris, Diablo 4 maker D Blizzard Entertainment and Whoopi Goldberg from Sister Act have publicly buried the hatchet at a Whoopi Goldberg-themed cannabis event with Diablo 4's general manager and Lilith herself in attendance, no less. What? If you don't remember, Goldberg got upset at Blizzard about the time of Diablo 4's release last year, railing against the company now deleted Instagram post for failing to port the game to her preferred system, the Mac. Are you kidding? This was over someone trying to play a game on a Mac? Okay, that in itself is hilarious because right now, if you're trying to play a game, a video game on the Mac, it a lot of people don't just get games on Macs. They're not good systems in that sense. A lot of games might be designed on a Mac because they have a lot of the uh, Photoshop capabilities, a lot of the more high graphics for it, but they just don't run the processes or the optimization as well as a regular PC does. To tell the truth, Goldberg turned the other cheek not long after. She got a refund for the game and though still ranked about not being able to play Diablo, of which she's a genuine fan, moved on. But now Blizzard has gone a step further. Lilith and Inarius cosplayers turned up at a Saturday Saturday's A Night with Whoopi event held to promote the actor's range of me medical cannabis products to present her with the key to hell. Diablo general man manager Rod Ferguson, who found himself blindsided by Whoopi's Apple Age anger last year, was also there to mend the fences with the actor. So this was more of a pol publicity stunt overall. Now, I have my beefs with uh, Diablo, with Blizzard as well. I think a lot of things that they're doing and one contest they ran last year, I'm still uh, scratching my head wondering where the prize is. Uh, they, they gave away a computer, they gave away a PC. The difference with this PC was it was a liquid cooled PC with uh, human blood as the coolant. I still haven't seen or heard who won the thing and everything's been scrubbed on the internet. So I would like to know who won that. I know I actually filled out the forms to try and figure that out and I still haven't heard anything back. So if Blizzard can mend fences with Whoopi Goldberg, I think a lot of the gaming community would like to know what happened to that blood filled PC. Like I said, back in my video on those things, it was a very gross and disturbing thing to, to know that there was going to be a PC out there that runs off human blood. And uh, I asked a lot of questions like, how do you transport that? How do you, how do you turn around and get that through a security terminal? How do you award something like that? Like you're, you're handing over something, a biological con component to your PC in that sense. And I was like, there's no way this is real. And yet, Nobody knows who won. Well, I think when it comes down to Diablo 4, you have the unlikeliest of people playing this game. From Whoopi Goldberg to Elon Musk. Two people that really don't see eye to eye on anything on the political spectrum. Uh, you have the host of The View. You have the owner of Twitter. These are very strange times we live in when Diablo 4 can bring together a couple of the people out there in the world and that's kind of where i sit right now it, it, there's certain things going on where it's 
you, you, you're picking out one thing here you like, one thing here you like, and then you put it together. And it's, it's a very different scenario altogether. Uh, I think Blizzard is trying to reach out to a certain level demographic at that point by uh, doing this with Whoopi Goldberg, trying to bury that hatchet. Or are they just trying to placate something else? I have no clue. I think it's very strange to give Whoopi Goldberg, out of all things, the key to hell. Because some of the things recently you've seen on The View, where she gets banned off the uh, off her own show every once in a while for things that she says because they're just straight up disparaging. I don't know. This was a really weird topic to, to stumble across, and I figured I had to make some sort of video on it. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe because we got more weird things that I can show you throughout the course of history. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.